An ally has returned. Hello, hello. Paul Bello here once again in the Lit RPG Adventures Workshop, a uh, collection of over three dozen advanced uh, RPG tools using cutting edge AI. And uh, we're working on our unified world builder that takes those three dozen generators and combines them into a tool for world building. Um, and what I have added is um, more information on the setting and this will be used when we generate the world info with the large language model um, so what we have is basically fantasy sci-fi modern post-apoc and steampunk and high fantasy old fantasy dark fantasy urban fantasy historical fantasy and then if you pop over to sci-fi, uh, you can get, you know, a cyberpunk theme, post-apoc, hard, soft, uh, modern. I guess I need to put a lit RPG in there. <laughs> um, and then you get the number of kingdoms, the number of factions, and blah, blah, notes, more notes. Um, so the idea is to, when you're setting up the world, um, the graphics, the tokens and markers and stuff are only fantasy now, but that might change in the future. But that doesn't uh, matter for the LLM. All it needs to know is uh, the type of world, you know, the terrain, and uh, other details like that. So adding whether it's fantasy or post-apocalyptic or steampunk uh, diesel punk you can uh, choose those and then that will be eventually used in the llm generation um, so if we look now we have no kingdoms but what we can do is hit generate world info and I'm not plugging in that it's fantasy and high fantasy yet um, it's just something I came up with last night and uh, I think it's gonna be good but I have to get it uh, tied into the LLM generation which shouldn't be too difficult uh, three, four, five, looks like we got our six kingdoms, and if we go down here, the kingdoms are here now, um, we still don't have a way to, uh, flesh those out yet, but that is coming, and then here, I have made some changes as well, uh, you can adjust the size of this now, however you want, then for city, I'm um, starting to clean up this a little bit. Uh, starting to look pretty, pretty good, I think. And then I also put a. Uh, it look like you can go all the way, which is probably good. That's more than enough, I think, on that side. Um, but the thought was, you know, if you're generating uh, building descriptions and stuff like that, you're going to want a little more space because it is getting a bit crowded. Um, haven't made any more changes to these. Um, but they are working as expected. Uh, you can come back. I don't like that scroll bar there. Uh, 16, 17. 
And if we come back, our city is still here. Our map is still working. Good, good, good. Uh, you can make this bigger. You can zoom in. You can download uh, the region map. And again, I've been thinking, you know, maybe we do want to add another ring of tiles around here, but I think for this uh, first beta version, we'll just keep it the simple 19 tiles, because um, that's going to be more than enough. Uh, the next thing I want to look at is maybe double clicking here, and then, like I said before, it would uh, pop open a add city or add dungeon, add event for that hex rather than having to come here and figure out okay i want it here on three two and then go all the way down here i can't even find three two there it is and pop it in there it would be easier i think just to uh double click one of these tiles and then have the uh, modal pop up um yeah, I think uh, we're getting to the point where I am worrying about the uh, user interface and user experience, trying to make it as easy as possible. Um, but the next thing we are going to be looking at, located in Felderon, which is a kingdom that we have no information about yet, um, but yeah, this, maybe I should make this adjustable rather than pull it all the way in and out. I'm not sure. Uh, these are, like I said, little, uh, UI UX things. Um, but we are getting real close, I think, to having a beta launch. So, uh, once again, if you would like to test this out, leave a comment, like the video, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, I'm going to get back into the workshop and uh, continue fleshing out this setting idea. Um, if you have any ideas on what other information we can add here... Uh, leave a comment, let me know. Um, I'm going to be tinkering with this and then the LLM stuff for uh, the kingdoms, regions, and factions. And then once we have all of that, we will be able to, uh, I think, get better generations. Um, for our cities and dungeons and then our buildings and NPCs. Um, I do have some ideas for NPCs and dungeons and cities and tying it all together. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, let me know what you think. Um, are we starting to come together with the uh, user interface and user experience? Um, I think it still needs a bit of work. But I think uh, we are headed definitely in the right direction. Um, this is loading a lot more solid now. And uh, yeah, I'm liking where we're at. Um, but I need your feedback. So let me know what you think. And uh, I'm going to dip back into the workshop. And uh, I'll be back soon. Ally has left the game.